Hip up. <laughs> you don't f care, do you? Yeah. Hello, neighbors and friends. Today we are riding the Ringtail Cat Climb. And as the intro video suggests, this is a very popular trail for both hikers and mountain bikers. The Ringtail Cat Trail connects the popular Hemi Trailhead to the central areas of the Las Trampas Regional Wilderness Park. The first half of the trail is a wide single track with several segments of very steep climbs. The second half transitions to a fire road with more reasonable slopes which offer a steady grind to the top of the trail. Whether you hike a bike or fully ride the first half, you'll be at max heart rate and your legs will be on fire as you transition to the fire road. Before going on, let's be clear. You won't find me blazing up or down a Strava segment with my pants on fire around a blind corner. I always slow my roll and yield to hikers. For those of you who've never been on a mountain bike, these hiker-biker interactions fall into several categories. This sincere hello. Happy to move over so we can both enjoy the trail. The begrudged move over, with or without a meek hello. The kids with sheepdog parents, frantically herding the flock off the trail to avoid seemingly certain disaster. The walkie talkie Terry, with or without a pup. You might get an eye roll from the hiker and occasionally the pup. The rare hiker with get off my property disposition. Your presence on the trail is another sign of what this world has come to. And the equally rare grumpy grandpa. You've ruined my day, so don't bother saying hello. My skills and endurance have improved, but this ride was several days after a moderate rain. I ended up dismounting several times on the way to the top. Even with the power assist of my Levo SL, by the time I hit the fire road, my heart rate was well into red line. About 150 feet ahead, I noticed a hiker and his pup. I'd seen this pair on several occasions and knew he was a grumpy grandpa. No need to waste my breath on a cheerful hello. As you can see, Benny the Beagle has claimed the fern track on the left side of the fire road and grumpy grandpa has established position on the right. It was with the hazy clarity of complete exhaustion that I evaluated my options. Moving to the dry grass that sloped away to the left, moving to the soft soil in the middle of the fire road, or move to the firm track occupied by the gentleman and either hope that he would move to the left or switch back after passing the pup. It should be noted that experience has shown that when approaching off-leash dogs, it's not uncommon for their owners to retrieve them or often they will naturally tend to move to their owners. In this case, that would have meant that Benny the Beagle would have moved to my right. Any change in course to the right on my part could have put me on a collision course with the pup. As you'll see, the gentleman took exception to my decision to maintain my course, which resulted in a close, albeit uneventful, flyby. 
Hip up. <laughs> you don't care, do you? Yeah. In retrospect, I should have dismounted to the left side of the trail. In my defense, my heart rate was about five beats above max and my state of exhaustion probably triggered something in the reptilian section of my brain that said, be going or be eaten. Regardless, let the record show that I wasn't thinking too clearly in the critical sections before the verbal scud missile was launched in my direction. Although I didn't understand the gentleman's first belching of grumpiness, as evidenced by my short giggle, hip up. <laughs> I certainly understood the remainder of his dissertation. If you know me well, underwhelming reaction syndrome is part of my DNA. My failure to respond was part baseline personality trait, part exhaustion based brain fog and part fully anticipated irritated interaction with this grumpy grandpa. As I continued up the trail and my state of exhaustion eased, the generally optimistic nature of my disposition combined with an exercise induced wave of endorphins to provide a deep feeling of happiness. Happy that I was soon going to finish the grind to the top of the trail. Happy that my life includes things that bring me joy. Kids, mountain biking, and making YouTube videos. And happy that Benny the Beagle has an owner that obviously loves him. As I reached the top of the climb, my thoughts shifted to the challenges waiting ahead on Dewey's birthday trail. Some may have dwelled on the negative Nelly that I passed on the trail that day. For me, life is short, and survival on the birthday trail is not guaranteed. The greedy rocks, sticky roots, and slippery slopes that lay in waiting on this black diamond downhill are not sympathetic to any loss of focus due to our grumpy grandpa and his happy pup. 